Hello everyone, so uh, it's a Thursday, because everything is icy outside, I have really nothing to do, and so I decided I'd make a video showing off some cool stuff I've made, uh, just a few little Lego mocks and stuff that I wanted to show off, just to kind of give you guys an idea of my room a bit. I guess I just want to show some of what I do with my spare time, because there are some pretty cool you know, Lego stuff I've made in my spare time. Some of it's kind of eh, but you know, I, I do what I can. I do what I can. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys some uh, some builds and things that I've made. Yeah, let's fix up something real quick. Okay, that's not really a great view. I'll I'll figure this out. Okay, let's get everything down here. And off the builds and stuff that I've made. Hold on, I'm fixing up something real quick. For later, and I'm gonna put on a separate build. But anyway, all right, let's start with uh, I guess this is where we'll start here. Okay, get a good kind of angle going. All right, so hello, welcome to my room once again. So first off, I want to show off this figure that I made. Now this is a very kind of simple figure to make, you know, you need a few different pieces, which of course you can get off of, you know, BrickLink, or of course Lego's actual, like, official, you know, Bricks and Pieces site, which you can, of course, use. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get a better angle. Um, what about, like, this? Would that work better? I'm like, a move up? Okay. I gotta make sure I get everything set up here. Alright, get a bit closer to the camera to really show this off, but I have some cool stuff I want to show that I've made. Okay, so first off, a while ago, I had this day, right? I, uh, it was like a Saturday or something, and I got bored. I realized I had some pieces, so I put some of those pieces together, and I made a really cool custom that I wanted to show off. Now, this is a very simple, sort of easy-to-make custom, and I think it looks decently accurate to the actual character, although their suit in particular in the film this is drawing from would be more, you know, open, I guess. But anyway, this is my custom Lego John Wick figure. Yeah, so it's a very simple figure to make. Now, some of the hardest part to find here would probably be either this, uh, little black like assault rifle piece here or um the like torso and legs which are kind of fairly common pieces but I specifically got them I think and I think they're an exclusive print to um the Genji and Hanzo Overwatch set or Genji versus Hanzo I should say anyway you need that you'd also need to find a like black and a hairpiece like this, you know, this is like Thor hairpiece, but like black, you know, that would work. And then actually the face for it is the face from Doctor Strange, because I thought that would fit, you know. He's got like a little beard chin going on there. Pretty cool. And then I have um, a little lightsaber hilt piece, black one of those. Pretty, not too hard to find, you know. And then you put that on the black assault rifle this way. And bam! John Wick. He's got like a tactical assault rifle looking kind of weapon, because I thought that would fit. And yeah, that'll be my first custom. I'm going to show off. Where do I start next? I think I want to do... I think I'll do one of my bigger ones here. Okay. So the next one that I want to show off is um this. 
Now you're probably like, whoa, it's just a guy in armor on a horse. Well, let me explain here what this actually is meant to be. Alright, I'll, I'll let you look up and you can try and guess who this is supposed to represent. You, you might get it wrong. Chances are you probably will. But anyway, he's, he would normally come with a sword from Minecraft, but I kind of removed that. And I have a bit of a setup back here where I made the Y logo out of Lego pieces mainly for the certain colors, which I found, apparently, I'm very lacking in purple, so it's partially a little bit pink, but still pretty cool. And, you know, you can you can make him, of course, the Brofist. So if you haven't guessed by now, despite the fact that it's glaringly obvious, uh, which you, you probably have, this is supposed to be like a custom PewDiePie figure. And you're probably wondering why I made this. Well, because I had the pieces. I was bored, and I was really getting into the vids Pewds was making for a while. I thought it'd be fun to recreate stuff. So his armor here is supposed to, like, represent gold armor in the game. You know, Minecraft. And he's got the bro fist. And then there's a bunch of other stuff I have, too. Like, he has, like, this is meant to be, like, a weight lifting thing. But it has, this, this piece is meant to represent, like, a tambourine, you know? Because you remember his whole floor gang thing he was doing there for a bit. Yeah. So you have that, and then I also have this really crappy looking chair I made. Yeah, it looks bad, but it exists. Um, yeah, I'll admit, it looks pretty terrible. Yeah, that, that one's probably one of my worst ones I've made. Anyways, uh, continuing with some stuff here, we're going to do another movie custom. Now, I made this, I don't remember when I made this, uh, roughly like about maybe a week, two weeks ago. I got a bit bored, right? And I've been watching a lot of videos on Terminator recently. So I made a little, I made a little custom, you know, kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator fig. It's pretty cool. So here's you got, here you got the dude, you know? And you got some black pants. He can have his normal kind of like Terminator arm, but you can also switch that out for just another arm if you see fit. Now, I couldn't really find any brown-shaped kind of gun pieces to work for, like, a shotgun, so I kind of thought this would work, and I think it does the job pretty well. Yeah, so anyway, and then when you have them displayed, of course, because if you remember the final, you know, act of, uh, Terminator 2, you know, they're at the factory spot, so you can have them, like, hanging, kind of, and he also comes with a motorcycle, which isn't really in the right color, it's just the one that I had for Wolverine, but I thought it'd be cool to include here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put John Wick up, and then we have our last one, which is one that, like, in some ways is disappointing for me, because I feel like there's more I could have done, but for what I did, I think I did a pretty decent job. So for this last one, I, uh, made, I made a Lego version of, of popular Minecraft YouTuber, Tommy in it. <laughs> Because I'm bored, and I'm surrounded in an icy landscape, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to take some pieces, put some stuff together, and make and make Tommy in it. Now, what sucks about this is I couldn't find a good white shirt kind of piece, or like a blank white torso piece to use for this, so instead I kind of used this blue shirt. And I couldn't really find either like dual molded sleeves, I don't have much of those, which I would have chosen to do, but I just couldn't find any. Um... And so I didn't get to put that on there. I would have done, you know, his classic, you know, the white shirt with the red sleeves, but I couldn't find those. So instead, I just kind of went with this much simpler look. Now, I couldn't create a great piece for this, but I did try my best to create one of his uh, Minecraft discs. I believe this is supposed to represent Malohai. I think so. Malohai is the one that has the green. So I think that's it, yeah. Anyway. This piece, it's like a green piece, right, attached to like one tiny little black stud piece. And then included, of course, he has a Minecraft sword, because, you know, it's, it's Tommy in it. Also, this blue shirt is kind of meant to represent, um, if you notice, if you've seen in a lot of like the VODs and stuff that he's been doing lately, he typically wears a Dunder Mifflin shirt a lot, <laughs> which is great, you know, because of the office. And of course, without Tommy in, 
uh, with, with Tommy in it, of course, you have to bring along some other things as references to the Dream SMP outside of, of course, just the disc and, you know, Minecraft Sword. So I also included this little egg piece build, right? Because you remember in the latest kind of season, I guess, they've been doing all this stuff with the egg, right? And so this is meant to be like that, and you've got a lot of weird red pieces formed and really weird directions and all that to represent that. And of course, most importantly, um, to those who may know who Tommy in it is, of course, you just can't have him without his vlog gun. And so thus, I made a little vlog gun here. It's a very simple little build. You know, I could have done better, but I just tried to recreate it to the best of my memory. So it's got like this, it's basically just a generic kind of gun with like a little orange piece on the end of it. I just work with what I have. So anyway, that's really about it. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, that'll be about it then. Bye-bye.